The Chinese doctor who warned of the novel coronavirus before the outbreak hit the international headlines died last Thursday after contracting the virus himself. His death has prompted academics in Wuhan to call for the Chinese government to allow freedom of speech in China. They're also demanding apologies and compensation for the other whistleblowers. Lee Sung Jae has this report. Lee Wen Liang a local doctor who warned his medical school alumni group about the discovery of a SARS-like illness via a messaging app was reprimanded by Wuhan police and later forced to sign a letter stating he had made false comments on the internet. However, the doctor's warning proved to be true as the novel coronavirus has now killed hundreds and infected tens of thousands of others around the globe. While treating patients in the city, the 34-year-old doctor contracted the coronavirus himself and died last Thursday. His death has sparked a debate on freedom of speech in China. Ten Wuhan-based professors have signed a letter demanding the Chinese government enforce freedom of speech articles in the Constitution of the People's Republic of China. The professors also call for a sincere apology and for the government to compensate the eight known coronavirus whistleblowers. The letter cites Article 35 and 51 in the Chinese Constitution, which states that Chinese citizens should enjoy freedom of speech, of the press, of assembly, of association, of profession, and of demonstration. The latter says Chinese citizens' rights may not infringe upon the interests of the state, of society, and of the collective, or upon the lawful freedoms and rights of other citizens. The open letter also calls for the Chinese government to recognize the doctor as a national martyr. Another letter signed by nine academics from around China calls for February 6th, the day he died, to be made National Freedom of Speech Day in his honor. Meanwhile, a Chinese lawyer and citizen journalist known for his video reports from Wuhan has gone missing. According to his family, 34-year-old Chen Kui Shi was detained in the name of quarantine by the police but they don't know his whereabouts. Chen was gaining traction on Chinese social media platforms for his reports on the pro-democracy protests in Hong Kong, and Chinese citizens are discouraged from discussing him online. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.